Today I'm going to show you how to use your iPhone in three amazing ways for your A10 mini. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Steph here. In today's digital age, I'm sure every one of you has a phone, right? And most of you probably an iPhone. And of course, live streaming is still a very big thing in this age. So how do we integrate your everyday weapon, the iPhone, to your A10 mini setup? Without further ado, let's dive right in. First up, using your iPhone as a mobile theater or theater, as some of you might call it. I'm sure this point resonates with many of you when you're doing your live streams on site. Our greatest fear, slow or no internet connection. And especially when our stream is live. All right, hands up. How many of you have had this experience before? Pretty scary, right? For most of my live stream, I use the venue's on-site internet, either via a LAN connection or wirelessly through their Wi-Fi. Then on my end, I'll have a backup 4G SIM Wi-Fi router that I fall back on if the on-site connection has no connection or it becomes slow. Now we have the third option of using your mobile phone's mobile data for internet connectivity during your live streams. With these three options for data connection during your live stream, you should be pretty assured that you will have data running smoothly throughout your live stream. Okay, so how do we set this up? First, connect your ATEM to your laptop or computer and go to ATEM software control panel. Then, click on connection and you can see and click on ATEM setup. Then click on this little console icon on the left here. Scroll to connection priority and you can see the option of Ethernet or mobile. So we can select mobile here. Don't worry about selecting mobile because this just tells the setup that if there's a mobile connection available, they will use that mobile connection first. If not, they will just fall back on to the Ethernet connection. So now we head over to our iPhone setup. So go to your settings and under personal hotspot, toggle it on by allowing others to join. Then, connect your iPhone to your A10 mini console's USB-C port. So depending on if you have the latest iPhone 15, you could be using a USB-C to USB-C cable or previous iPhone models, which would require the use of a Lightning to USB-C cable. Once you have connected your iPhone to your A10 mini console, Go back to the ATEM software control panel again and you can see a little blue phone icon here that confirms that you have successfully tethered your mobile phone to your ATEM mini console. So for myself, real life example, has this happened before? Absolutely, many times. So sometime last year, I did a wedding live stream at a summer house, a lovely venue for weddings and private events here in Singapore, located in Salita. So if any of you are planning for a cozy or intimate location for an event or your own wedding, you can check them out here. Just doing a site free advertisement for them. So their wedding dinner was located within the building itself. So there's no problem with Wi-Fi connection and all, right? Since it's within the same building. The problem was that the solemnization which was to be held in the evening was at a little foresty field somewhere about 100 meters off the main building. So when I set my live stream, my, so when I set up my live stream there, I could barely connect to the Wi-Fi. I had like one or two bars connectivity intermittently. And just think about when the crowd comes in, right? So I used this mobile tethering as a backup option during the wedding live stream. Before the solemnization started, I repeatedly checked the connectivity, the upload speed and all, and it was all good. And as usual, Murphy's Law struck just when the solemnization was about to start, just like two minutes. I could literally see the bread was about to come in. I couldn't latch onto the Wi-Fi securely. And to be safe, I off the Wi-Fi connection and then my mobile tethering kicked in. And luckily, I was able to run the stream smoothly until the end of the wedding solemnization. So because I was prepared beforehand, there was no real need to panic. Like I've always said in all my previous videos, always be prepared 101% for your live streams. 
So the second amazing way to use your iPhone for your A10 mini is using it as a camera source. First, you will need to download the Blackmagic camera app, which is free. Then connect a Lightning Digital AV adapter to your iPhone port. Then connect a HDMI cable from this adapter to your A10 mini's HDMI ports. A point to note though, I've bought several third-party adapters for a fraction of the original's price, but they always seem to have some problems either with the power, with the connectivity, so I would strongly recommend using the original Apple adapter. As you can see, connecting your iPhone this way, you will see the camera settings on the HDMI feed. But you do not want your viewers to see these settings on your live stream, right? Looks so unprofessional. So go back to your Blackmagic camera app on your phone and then go to settings. Scroll to monitor and under HDMI out, select clean feed. Then you will have no camera settings displayed on your live stream, but you can still see this on your phone if you need to make any changes to your settings. Another more amazing way to tap onto this is to connect to a wireless transmitter setup. So for myself, I've been using the Holy Land Mask 300 setup. Simple, not too expensive, reliable. So connect the adapter to the wireless transmitter and the receiver on the ports of the A10 mini. Ta-da! Now you can hold and carry your iPhone around while sending inputs to your A10 as an AV source. A way to make this more compact and more professional looking would be to buy one of those uh, handphone rigs by rig makers such as Small Rig or Newell to make your setup look more professional. The third and last amazing way in this video to use your iPhone with your A10 mini is to use it as an additional HDMI input source to play videos. You know, for our live streams, there always has to be a time to play videos, right? Be it weddings or corporate live streams. So for example, in our wedding live streams, the couple may have a pre-recorded video from their families overseas, some well wishes that they want to play, or simply just a pre-wedding video that what they want to show their audience before they make their grand entrance into the wedding hall. So remember the last tip, similarly we connect the iPhone to the Apple AV HDMI adapter and then connect the HDMI to one of the ports on the A10 mini. So you can prepare the video on your iPhone and when the time comes to play the video, just make the switch over and your audience will be able to see the video being cast onto the live stream. So there you have it. Three amazing ways to use your iPhone to boost your A10 mini setup. Again, I've said this many times before. Our mobile phones nowadays are so indispensable to us, right? We are carrying it with us most of the time. It's almost the first thing we pick up when we wake up and probably the last thing we put down before we go to sleep. So what better to use this device to help us with our live streams, right? If you know any more amazing ways to use your iPhone for your A10 mini setup, do write them in the comments below and then we can talk about it or I can probably make a part 2 video of this. Before I end this video, I'd like to say it really means a lot to me if you found any of the information I shared today useful and if you can give this video a like. So it encourages me to, making, to continue making such videos for you. If not, feel free to leave them in the comments below what you would like to see in the future so I can work on them to bring you something that you like. If you have learned anything from today's video or from other videos on my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. And while you are here, do check out two of my other videos here. And as always, if you have any questions, I'm Steph. Please, let me know.